hello guys so welcome again to my channel i hope you are doing good and in this video we will be discussing how hackers get your data and uh, no matter whether you are an internet user or a digital content creator this video is going to be very helpful for you i will be discussing some of the tools which will be helpful in 2024 for you and as well i will be discussing the mistakes that we often do and this these mistakes become a reason for getting hacked by any of the thieves on internet okay so first of all i will be showing you something that will you will be very surprised to come across that thing and then later on i will be showing you how you can overcome this problem okay first of all for the people who often use extensions okay first thing is extensions i will be showing you something so as let me just move to my virtual machine first Okay, so now we are inside our virtual machine. So here I will show you, you can see I'm not running anything, right? Am I running anything? No, I'm not running anything. If I check my task manager, you'll be surprised to know that there are some instances going on. You can see Brave Browser, Brave Browser. So there are a lot of tabs over here. Also, they have consumed a lot of memory, as you can see. So I'm not running anything. Why are they running in the background? You must check these things, no matter whether it's Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or any of the browsers, right? If I open that particular profile, I know which profile is it. And I also know what sort of extensions are there. I'm aware of that, but I will be teaching you something very helpful by just showing this example. You can see here, I have added some extension. If I click here, you can, you can know like it's uh, running in the background. Okay, it's still running. So they will be running in the background. They will be collecting the data. I, I really, I'm not really sure what they do, but they're collecting the data and keep running in the background. I know these sources. That's how I'm using. Also, I'm using in the virtual machine, not in my local system. So this is from this example, you can understand like the extensions you install on your browser. There are some of the extensions which keep running in the background. So you have to avoid using them. If it's suppose if you're using any of the extension, like downloading videos from any extension in bulk, as soon as you get done with your work, please uninstall or remove that extension from the browser. That's how you can save your data. This is the first tip from my side. And second one is using an anti-detect browser. Like there are a lot of websites which collect your data, which even steal your data. Okay, that can be in, in any form, like your login details from Gmail, from Facebook account. So please avoid using them and and like using, but like avoid, avoiding using those ex ordinary browser you can use an antiquated browser okay i'll be showing you one of the browsers before that let's just connect to the vpn and i will show you one thing this is an another tip for you okay let me close this if i connect to the vpn here okay so we are connected let's open the browser and see how anonymous we are okay if i browse a website and i Click on enter. Okay, so here you see I'm connected to US. Also, you can see I'm only 90% anonymous, even though I'm connected to the VPN. But on the other hand, if I open an entity dead browser, the first say I'm going to connect with Go Login. Okay, I'm about to open it. The okay, I will create a new profile over here and I will show you how it adds an extra layer like over the VPN. Okay, you don't have to make any changes, you don't have to fix any of the problems. Just connect the VPN, then create a profile, it will set everything for you. Okay, and I will show you how it helps you in securing or in protecting your data. Okay, if I click on profile. So there are two options. First one is this one, add a key profile. Second one is this one. Here you make changes, you add some advanced options, but here you create a quick, quick profile. Okay. Okay, so this is profile 32. If I click on run. And then it will pop up. Just wait for a while. Okay. 
So here we will check our anonymity and then I will show you something else. If I browse this website whoer.net you can see I'm 100% anonymous. So you see I, I made no changes, even zero changes at all. But this browser has already just gotten all the details about the IP, about the language, about the time region. So what happens when you use any ordinary browser, you have to tell the browser about the time, about the location, so that they can make your identity in, in like make your identity in that way. But in on the other hand, when we talk about go login, you don't have to do anything. Okay, everything is being set by go login, like your location or the regional language as well as the time. Okay, so you you can see I did nothing. So, but on the other hand, when we use other browsers, we have to tell all the details. Not only this, as to so suppose uh, you have to use some extension. You really you are not really about like aware about about the publishers, but you still want to use any extension. So what you can do, you can just open any profile. You can create a profile, right? So after that, you can just uh, go to Chrome extensions. Not even not even if if the extension is not available on Chrome, you can use from the third party extension. But as long as as soon as you get done with your work, you have to remove that. And if, even if you don't remove that, the extension won't run in the background. Why? Because you are using this profile. Okay. As soon as you don't have opened this profile, nothing would run. Okay. You have to open the profile, then all the functions will run. Okay. Once you are done with your work. Okay, what you can do, you can just click on three dots, click on delete, you can delete the profile. So how easy it is, you can see. So this is the tool that I would recommend in 2024 because it will really help you, the cookies, your data, whatever you save or whatever you browse on an internet. Okay, somewhat it is being stolen by hackers. Okay, by using these extensions as well as just logging in, in the on the unsecure websites. Right, so like downloading process is really easy. You don't have to do anything, just search go login. Right. And enter. And here, this is the first website. So I click on here. So here you have to click on Windows. Okay, it's it's available for all platforms, even for Android mobile phones as well. It's, it's really going to be very helpful for you if you if you are an Android user, you can use it, and also you can make a lot of profiles on mobile phone, and you can also get seven days trial, right? So if you really want to use it for long, if you want to purchase a plan, you can try the paid plan. That's going to be really helpful if you wanted to run it for a long time. You can use my uh, promo code that's on the screen. Okay, that will help you to get forty percent discount, no matter if you buy it for a month or for a year. Okay, that would be applied on both the uh, plans. So that's how you can save yourself. So first thing always keep in mind, never ever an install any of the extension, right? That's the main common problem that I have seen among the people from getting hacked, right? So this is how you can stop hackers. And uh, slowly, slowly you will be coming across so many functions of Go login. This is the one of the function that I really like that it, it doesn't run in the background. Okay, also it provides you a unique fingerprint. Okay, that's the one most important feature of this uh, browser and what does that mean that means it provides you a separate environment in which you can just add your like in which you can use uh, manage many accounts a lot of ebay accounts a lot of dropshipping accounts or you can manage even you can manage facebook accounts that's how all it runs right so this is how it works and uh, if you have any question you can comment comment in that just like comment in the comment box right also all, all the details will be available in the description box so use my code for the extra discount. So that's all about today's video. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.